I am lost. And yet, I can feel his presence. So close, so close. I can see him in my mind's eye. Steve. Excuse me, why? You know, I don't know what's worse. The fact that Menace uploaded this video thinking it wasn't a fucking disaster? Or that he thinks this meme he made of my icon looks good? I mean, seriously. Why does every toe have a Karen haircut? It just looks like it has hairy toes now. <laughs> So if you haven't heard, apparently our good buddy Menace made a video responding to me. And the whole time I watched it, I kept wondering if I was hallucinating because of how bad it was. Is this real life? Wait, he responded to a comment of mine with this block of text? Why? Why? <laughs> relax, 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 relax! You're fine! You're doing fine! I'm doing fine! So one of the things Menace calls me out for in his video is how I wasn't being accurate about how many videos he's really made mentioning Steve, but then has shit like this in the description for his video. So here he is, McLion again. Here he's trying to paint the picture that for the most part, all of my videos are about Steb. I'm gonna guess that about 65 of them have mention of Steb in them and far less than that are directed explicitly towards Steb's lying and skeezing. There's a bunch on non-sex shit and stupid shit Chez and Manya have said and done, etc. You still could have made a valid point in stating that a large percentage of my videos would have content about Steb in them. Crencharpaw dropped a video in which he made one point for every 47 lies he told. But it isn't enough for you to be honest. You need to lie and state a number that is clearly false. Okay, it was probably one point for every five or six lies. And state a number that is clearly false. Crencharpaw dropped a video in which he made one point for every 47 lies he told. You are, as the lobsters say, astronomically dishonest. Excuse me, why? Accuracy at its best, folks! You are, as the lobsters say, astronomically dishonest. How do you fuck up this badly? I love how he thinks pointing out that only about 70% of his content mentions Steve somehow doesn't prove my overall point that he's made a lot of videos mentioning Steve! Also, you would think that someone who claims to care so much about accuracy wouldn't go onto his Twitter two days after uploading this video and make a post about a response I left to someone in the comments of his video and leave out the context so that he could make it about. <coughs> Oddly enough, Menace tried to call me out for doing this with something Trio said, but ends up leaving out the fact that, in none of the tweets Trio made, did Trio ever make it clear what the fuck he was talking about when he declared that Menace debunked me. Somehow in Menace's mind, I should have just known what Trio was talking about. Even though in Menace's own response, he too brings up his own video! Like, what the fuck? Am I dead yet? Anyway, who's I showing empathy to? Well, all you have to do is go to the comment in question, scroll up, and you'll see it wasn't fucking Steve! The way this guy is. He would think he has Steve on the brain or something. Steph and his lobsters having a bit of a meeting here in their super secret Discord. Look, they're praying to Steve. Is... Oh, praise the mayhem! Oh yeah, look at them whipping their minions down here. That's definitely there's definitely a Steve is down here somewhere. They're whipping their parishioners into submission. Oh, look at that! There's Steve. The there he is. Regrettably, we have not. There's steps. ritual is everything. It is unholy pulp of agnosticism. Nope. It. Let's go get him. Let's go get Stevus. Lord Stevus. Keeper of the cult. You posted cringe beyond human understanding. And the fuck ups don't end there, because at another point in his video, he claims that all I do is whataboutism, but fails to list off any. Funny enough though, a minute after making this claim, he does a whataboutism in response to a point I make about him and his friends and harassment. Kren crying about someone ban evading after having their other accounts banned for harassment. Don't get me wrong, I think his criticism is valid. It's just ironic coming from Team Lobster, whose lieutenant is ban evading after being banned for harassment. Whataboutism. It's the practice of changing the subject 
to someone else's perceived wrongdoing. Well, it's nice to know that if my point had anything to do with ban evading, his response would be to go, well, what about this other user who's also ban evading? What about is it? What about is it? It's the practice of changing the subject to someone else's perceived wrongdoing. What about ism? But my point had nothing to do with ban evading and everything to do with noticing a trend with how Menace and his pals will in one moment screech about how they are so against harassment, but yet in another openly support a user who keeps getting banned off of Twitter because he can't stop harassing people. Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again oh, expecting shit. shit to change that is crazy so i guess harassment is only wrong when someone they dislike does it because that's how they act anyway the last thing really worth addressing from menace's video is where he tries to claim that since his friends didn't spread around that leaked photo of red's rhetoric with malicious intent they didn't dox him, and that they had to spread around this photo to disprove a bullshit claim of sexual assault. But what Menace fails to realize is that the person who was accused of sexually assaulting Reds put out a video disproving this claim without needing to expose all of his face. Aww. And that's not all. Another thing that Menace fails to realize is that the very user who he called a troll and said was doxing Reds by leaking that photo was trying to do the very same thing that his friends were doing. So this is where Menace's double standard becomes easy to see. This troll makes some posts leaking the photo of Reds and tags Menace in them. Menace responds by saying that that post tagging him is a dox and he doesn't want tagged in such things. His friends, however, see that troll's post and decide to spread it around and somehow, in Menace's own mind, they aren't doxing but the troll is what? and his double standard becomes even easier to see when you realize that when a public photo of one of his friends was making the rounds on twitter here's what he had to say about that what's the point in posting someone's pic in the first place if it's not to dox them oh really it's doxing now to share around a picture of someone <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, there you have it. This is why I say that this video, like this meme he made, should have never seen the light of day. Wait a minute. 50% lobster? What the fuck? Does he think that I'm some kind of human lobster hybrid or something?